There's some positive news concerning an experimental vaccine for the coronavirus. Drug maker Moderna has announced that all of their participants in a stage one trial produced antibodies for COVID-19 after receiving two doses of the Myrna vaccine. Here to give us the details is our chief health editor, Dr. Parthenandi. So, Doc, what can you tell us about these promising results so far? Yeah, promising indeed, Alan. I'm excited about it. The clinical data is certainly encouraging. And, and in, in phase one of Moderna's human safety tests that included 45 participants between the ages of 18 and 55, now all the folks that participated were split into three groups of 15. Each group received a different amount of vaccine, Alan and Glenda, and either a 25, 100, or, 20, or 250 microgram dose. And after two weeks, uh, after the second dose was given, uh, folks in the 25 microgram group had antibodies roughly the same levels as patient who had recovered from COVID-19. And, and people in the 100 microgram group had a quote unquote significantly exceeded levels than uh, patients who had recovered from COVID-19. As for the third group, the people that get the highest uh, dose, 250 micrograms of the mRNA vaccine, no data has been released regarding the second dose. Having said that, the company is not really moving forward with the higher 250 microgram dose in future trials. Okay, so Dr. Nandy, that's encouraging. What about side effects? So Glenda, uh, Moderna, Moderna has said that the vaccine overall is generally safe and, and phase one studies did not actually show any worrisome side effects. There was some redness at the injection site for one patient and three other patients uh, who were given the highest dose had grade three systemic symptoms after the second shot. The company's press release did not say what these were, but fever, muscle pain, and headache were mentioned by Moderna's chief medical officers. All these symptoms were temporary, so nothing serious thus far. So, Doc, do antibodies created by this vaccine mean it will kill the virus, or better yet, even protect a person from getting sick? And that's a real question, right, Alan? So, uh, when looking at Moderna's animal studies, the vaccine given to mice did prevent, I'll say it again, did prevent the virus from multiplying in their lungs, but I've said this before many times, success in the in the test tubes or animal studies does not guarantee success in humans. And it's a bit early to say with any certainty that these antibodies will protect any of the participants against the coronavirus, especially since it hasn't really been well studied and we're not sure if patients can get reinfected. However, there's some evidence, and this is encouraging, that high levels of antibodies may neutralize the virus. So as usual, I remain very hopeful and so what's next for this potential vaccine is that they'll be moving forward in phase two of the trial with plans to begin phase three in July. And if all goes well, the vaccine could be ready in early 2021. And I've said it before, you know, keys to get, get over this and, and get ahead of this coronavirus is testing and getting a treatment or vaccine. So this is certainly good news that I'm happy to share with. We share in your hope. Dr. Nandy, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon.